Hello and welcome back to our KSP career and in today's episode we are launching the Minmus scan set that we have actually done in the previous episode and due to the contract requirements of reaching the atmosphere we're changing it to probe. Yes, see, now the reach the atmosphere probe will contract will be fulfilled once we reach the upper atmosphere and we have picked up several more contracts. Uh, I have actually done that in the previous episode where I have been designing and building this bad boy. Uh, if you haven't checked it out, I will be providing the link to that episode in the card that will be coming or the end screen that you will be seeing after this video. However, right now we are launching and the mission for today, well, missions, plural, yes, there are several. First mission will be to find a suitable location for a new base which means we have to do 85 percent of the high resolution altimetry scan of minmus then we have a contract of doing the scan set altimetry scan of minmus which is basically the same thing uh, then we have transmit uh, the science from the orbit around minmus and finally transmit data from the surface of minmus and this craft is going to do all that and so much more. Yes. So <clears throat> we are first of all circularizing at 100 kilometers as per usual. And we have just crossed the, you know, 70 kilometers, which means the music kicks in. Oh, I just love that piece of the, you know, KSP. I love Kevin McLeod's music. It's amazing. All right. Putting the rocket maneuver prograde, we have a one 1420 meters per second to circularize and make no mistake, today we will be attempting of actually recovering the booster. Come on guys, fingers crossed. What do you think? Post in the comments below, will we be able to or won't we be able to recover the booster? Show of hands, show of votes. All right, so we have circularization coming up. There we go. And we're good. All right, that is 114 by 100. That is more than enough. Now we all need to do is decouple this bad boy. Look at it go. I've just pushed on the gas a little bit because I wanted to get away from the booster because the booster will be going back to the boost back burn and here it is just as it hits the top layers of our atmosphere and we have already the <clears throat> brakes extended and if you the sharp eyed among you will notice that i have boosted up the ambient light a bit because i really really had a misfortune of every single landing being in the dark and i really wanted you guys to be able to see actually the damn thing so I have disabled the SAS, the air brakes are extended, so hopefully we will be able to land somewhere nice this time. I've tried to time it so that we actually land in the sunshine, however, I'm a total noob when it comes to orbital re-entry speeds and everything, so yeah, like I said, don't judge me. And I have a feeling we will be, yeah, touching down in the dark. Well, <clears throat> okay, let's see if we can, yeah, we are just shy of the lawn order. Oh, well, it happens. Okay, Minma Science has, you know, whatever. Boosting, boosting, come on. Landing legs, okay, and all right. A little bit more and touch down. There we go. Woohoo! We managed to land the damn thing. Recovery and the main mission continues on its way to Minmus. I have tried to actually, you know, skip the orbital inclination burn and all that jazz because I mean you've seen it me you've seen me doing like hundreds of times. So this is the orbit that will be going towards Minmus, and we have actually a lot of grounds to cover. Yes, this mission is so multi-part that there will be a lot of things done today, so... Jam-packed. Bye-bye, Kerbin, and onwards to Minmus. Yeah, see how Moon is close. Minmus is the stuff. 
Anyway, <clears throat> we are coming on Minmus and I want to be going into the polar orbit of roughly 250 to 300 kilometers. So here is me just preparing for the circularization burn at that time and let's take a nice look as we approach the south pole of Minmus. Beautiful. Hello Minmus. I know that some of you guys are already you know, sick of me doing Minmus missions, but yeah. Uh, truth be told, I'm playing with Kerbal Construction Time, it takes a lot of while until something gets to do now, but uh, as we go further along, I will be intensifying more Duna Eve and interplanetary operations, but we still have to get there first, you know? So, yeah, see, 117 days until we get to Duna with the first one, and then 138 till we get to Eve. So, not so far now, but it will be fun, I think. Anyway, <clears throat> we are preparing for the orbital insertion burn. That should take 181 meters per second. And, you know, the poodle can handle it, no problemo. Okay, 250 by 250. And I think it's time that we deploy our scan set. So, in order to do that, I want to actually first make sure that I have con connections. Meaning, I'm gonna extend this antenna. I'm gonna extend this antenna. And then I'm gonna be extending a single solar panel just to make sure that we have power generation. We have some power stored in the batteries, however, I just want to make, oop, don't mind hitting the head. Whoopsie, all right, doesn't matter. Extending the rest of the solar panels. And I think 250 altitude should be in theory ideal, right? Or, let me see, uh, first things first. We have to transmit science data from orbit around Minmus. So right now we're doing a little bit of, you know, forced run. So I want to make sure that we actually get this experiment done. I want to engage the thrusters and I want to take just a little nudge in the other direction. Look how beautiful it really is. Really like the looks of it. Amazing. All right, 150 collected soon enough when we collect the rest. This science will be transmitted, hopefully, and everything will be hunky-dory. Right, okay, solar panels turning, and oh, we have one of the monoprop engines who is not performing. All right, failed. Well, I think the other one shall be working, so I don't care, to be honest. Should provide enough thrust, hopefully the you know, we can still spin it. And we have sent, and there we go, science data from space around Minmus. Done. Nice. All right. Let's get into the scan set. So what does our scan set say? SR. S the scan is happening. Although, I'm just trying to get the scan sensor information. Suboptimal. They said 200 and f over. 250 kilometers is ideal. Okay, so I guess we're too low then. So what we need to do is we just need to raise our apoapsis and periapsis to say 300, so we're gonna do that. Okay, and let's gently just touch it. See? 319. Okay, that will be much better, and then let's go to the apoapsis. On science station, Alex Kerman is exposed to extreme radiation. Why? Oh, I see the icon there on the top, the, the red icon, power, what does that mean? But this is actually for the Minmus scan set. Oh, uh, hold on. Let me just raise the periapsis, otherwise I'm gonna forget about it. So ever so carefully, just gently, oh, solar storm in progress. Oh boy. Okay, now I get why Alex is feeling a little bit roasted. Okay, so I guess, okay, we are now at ideal, you know, altitude for scanning. So I think what we need to do is to do a quick selfie. We and also at ideal for multispectral scan. So we should probably enable the multispectral, you know, scanning stuff and then be none the wiser. So screenshot, no, no, turn around, turn around like this, like this. Oh, doke, come on. Yeah, oh, that's better. Okay. Screenshot taken. Now, let's go to the station. Okay, here we go. Station, you are exposed to extreme radiation. Sorry about that, Alex. Let's 
Uh, one tip, if you're experiencing the solar storm, meaning that you have to quickly put a tank that's full of fuel between the sun and you. So, solar storm in progress, it will remain for 59 minutes, so yeah. Okay, let's see if we can reduce the amount of radiation that Alex is getting. Okay, sounds like this is actually starting to work. It, you can see the icon changing. Okay, so it's going from dangerous to just regular. Okay, now let's go back to our Sciencer craft. So, now we have successfully launched the scan set and it will be doing its stuff. But now we want to be deploying the small Minmus lander. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to go and reduce my periapsis and I, ultimately I would like to deploy my Minmus lander somewhere on one of the, you know, lake beds. So I'm actually getting here to periapsis, then I'm going to decrease my periapsis to say 10 by 10, I think. Something like that would be fine. Okay, 15 by 9. Okay, yeah, I'll take it. However, here I'm going to be turning very hard to almost said to starboard <laughs> some things never change anyway i'm turning really hard to actually normal just to make sure that we turn towards this lake bed that bed that i see over here and i want to alter the trajectory of the lander that it lands somewhere on the lake bed and then we will be activating the seismic sensor and then hitting it so hopefully that should be fine and we are sometimes seeing we're losing power on the station so in the future episode I definitely want to address that by sending a probe that has that is jam packed with batteries so hopefully it will be significantly easier to actually go with it so we are now at 5 seconds to burn and let's go there we go have we successfully changed our trajectory yes to a degree okay good now let's extend the solar panel for this little dinghy and then let's make sure that it lands where it needs to look at the solar panels opening thank you extending the antenna you're on your own buddy and come on disconnect there we go look at our dinky little lander a little dinky lander that could now Perfect. Okay, I'm actually worried that I'm gonna be missing that lake bed. Look, see how it's going? Oh boy. Okay, let us just make a small maneuver correction where we will ensure that we go in the right direction. So, reduce and then turn towards the middle of that lake bed. Okay, there we go. 111 meters per second, no problemo. We have plenty of, you know, fuel. So, in 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and ignition. We're having the ant engine, but given that this probe is so small, the ant engine is actually more than sufficient and more than capable of doing this what we need. So overall, I'm happy. Now, that being said, all right, let's get ourselves landed. Just turning into the right orientation. And then I will be extending. I'm trying to get a nice cinematic view, you know, but yeah. All right, there we go. So hopefully extending the landing legs and then we will go. Let's just go for the altimetry and oh, look at this. This is just gold. Beautiful. There we go. Our thrust to weight is almost at 11, which is more than enough to stop us almost instantly. Oh, look, there's another site over there. Haha. -ha could be the flag I planted long time ago, which means signs that I will be sending from that will be crap. All right, that's not something that I have considered, but it doesn't matter. We're in landing mode, we're getting there, we're committed. There we go, perfect. 500 meters per second, more than enough to actually just, you know, land and once at one nice spot, and then we will be hopefully, well, you know, good to go. Later on I can always do a hop or two on Minmus and hopefully see if we can do either slopes, I'm hoping, or maybe lowlands or something. But Greater Flats is the one that we are targeting right now and we'll be doing the laser scan anyway on it, so that will be perfectly fine. There we go, <clears throat> almost done. 
Almost done. And three, two, one, come on. And touchdown. Look at this. Like a professional. Oh, and there's a screenshot. Yes, thank you. Now, uh, turning off the SAS, let's collect the laser data. Send that. It's 21 science. It's not negligible by any means necessary. So, right. Now, why didn't it want... It didn't want to transmit science data. Okay, so I have to guess... I guess run something else. I'm gonna force run again the temperature scan. Yeah, apparently we have the data, but we're gonna force run it anyway, so... Go and collect all the science that we can. There we go. Stopped. Consent. Good. Alright, so that fulfills the contract from science data from Minmus. Now, we need to do the impactor. The impactor meaning that we will be actually smashing this guy down very hard on the surface of Minmus and hopefully the seismic sensor will be registering something. Right. There we go, come on, hitting more and hitting more. Actually, this guy no longer has SAS because, well, we have to just do it blind, so to say. Which is a little bit, you know, just a smidge disconcerting, but if I... Oh, laser surface scan sent, 21. So, data from Minmus sent, perfect. See, I knew we were gonna get some science. And there we go, come on. Turn it, orientation, and let's hit it. Very nice, and hitting it. Oh, that's actually, it's quite hard to steer it. We have don't we don't have stability assist, so it's just you know flipping willy nilly. Okay, settle down, settle down. There we go, a little bit further, a little bit further, and I think we will be good. Good. I actually think that will be fine. Now let's take this rotating craft and use every single little piece of it what we can. So we have recovered the booster, we use the lander, we're using the scan set, and this guy will become our impactor. Litho breaking time. Beautiful screenshot, there we go. 10 kilometers off and 5 kilometers off that site. Can we actually bomb that site? Maybe. Uh, okay, turning and come on. Decelerating. No, actually, let's accelerate this way. We are not landing, so we don't have to be really careful in terms of landing. So let's just help it out. Now, accelerate. There we go. And kaboom! Blink. I really do hope that the science actually registered it. All right, so that contract is complete. Science data from surface of Minmus, which brings the rest of the things that will need to be executed, you know, over time. So hopefully we will be checking the results in the next episode. But until then, fling a like at this episode if you're so inclined, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. This is Gromfork signing off.